Meghan Markle is determined to fulfill her heart's desires and not let her own needs fade away now she's a member of the royal family, and wants to be a role model for young boys as well as girls. The Duchess of Sussex, 38, reportedly made the remarks during an event for inspiring female entrepreneurs at Woodstock Exchange in Cape Town earlier this week during her tour of South Africa with husband Prince Harry. Woodstock Exchange, the UK's a tech hub, focuses on skills development and access to markets by assisting entrepreneurs, particularly women, to acquire skills, resources and support. The ladies who launch meetings saw the former actress, 38, meet with several women who have set up their own businesses in industries such as technology, conservation and fashion and praise them for empowering the next generation of creative minds. During a conversation with the female tech founders Megan, who has campaigned vigorously for the empowerment of young women and girls, said she hopes to do the same for young men. Mother of two Nadiumu Useji, a South African engineer, social entrepreneur and co-founder of Women in Engineering, revealed, We acknowledged the importance of not just education for girls but being role models for boys, that we are women who are influential and who boys can look up to as well. People reports. We both have sons, and we were bearing in mind that we are not just role models for girls but boys, and not just our sons, but generally in public too. She added that having Meghan present didn't feel hierarchical, as it was women gathered together and to talk about the struggles we have, as well as the things we need to do to move forward and grow and change our societies. Massey Modis founder of skills training company Simo Diza, said Meghan is determined to continue to champion the issues close to her heart despite being a member of the fold. She talked about being a mother and having duties as a duchess and fulfilling what her heart desires, and that it can't just fade away now that you're a duchess, Modiza recalled. That you have to be true to who you are. She said the Duchess pushed them to plow ahead with their new ideas and spoke about how they have to keep pushing and going forward knowing they are doing it for others who will follow. She wasn't referring to being a royal, but life in general when you have challenges, Modis added, admitting she felt a bit awestruck by Meghan. She radiates grace and she is taking this task that she has with such grace, Modis said. A lot of us have done amazing things as founders, but meeting a royal is quite daunting. She made it easy. She is an easy-going royal. Meghan also revealed she's enjoying the pressures of being a working mother, admitting she finds juggling being a royal and looking after baby Archie a lot but also exciting. Speaking to mother of two Lara Rosemarin, CEO of Cape Innovation and Technology, Meghan said, We are only five months in right now. Being a working mom and traveling as well with a baby, my goodness it's a lot, but it's also exciting. There are days when it's a lot to juggle but then you meet someone and you have an impact on them and you say aha, and it's so rewarding. Meghan then went to the city's Mothers to Mothers organization, which trains and employs women with HIV. She took along some of Archie's baby clothes, including a onesie saying the future and his Invictus baby grow which he no longer fits, alongside donations from her friends with children. Madsy told US magazine People. She talked about being a mother and having duties as a duchess and fulfilling what her heart desires, and that it can't just fade away now that you're a duchess. That you have to be true to who you are. Meghan, who gave birth to Archie in May, also discussed being a role model for boys and girls. Entrepreneur Nadia Museji, who has a two-year-old son, said, We acknowledged the importance of not just education for girls but being role models for boys that we are women who are influential and who boys can look up to as well. We both have sons, and we were bearing in mind that we are not just role models for girls but boys, and not just our sons, but generally in public too. The ladies who launch event took place at the Woodstock Exchange, a technology hub that focuses on highlighting the skills and mentorship of female entrepreneurs changing the landscape of employment in South Africa. During the engagement Megan opened up about being a working mum to Archie. Speaking to mother of two and chief executive of Cape Innovation and Technology Laura Rosemarin, the American former actress said, We're only five months in right now. Being a working mum and traveling as well with a baby, 
my goodness it's a lot, but it's also exciting. There are days when it's a lot to juggle but then you meet someone and you have an impact on them and you say aha, and it's so rewarding. Lara said, I think the Duchess really understood the pressures on working women, which was so appreciated. She is a working mother herself and mixing that in with all the traveling and projects she has, it's inspiring for other women and young people to see that she is making such a success out of her life and helping others with her charitable endeavors. Meghan and Archie are staying in South Africa for the 10-day trip. Harry is also visiting Botswana, Angola and Malawi before ending the tour with his family in Johannesburg. Earlier this week, Meghan and Harry called each other the best mum and the best dad during an engagement to Mungwabizi Beach in Cape Town. 